So I'm fucking stuck. Car got stuck there in the middle of fucking nowhere. So I'm gonna walk to the destination, which I guess took me to back roads. So we'll see what ends up happening with this, but I'm gonna need someone to help me get this rental car back on the road. Holy shit. You know, it's always something, right? Could be worse. Could be worse. I got the directions. This is 0.8 miles. 0.8 miles. Five minutes. Shouldn't be that bad. And hopefully I can get some help to get this car out of here. Well, hike, exercise. All right, this is what's... It's gonna be a stupid fucking car. All right, here we go. Oh, for all the bad things, we're still walking to the thing, at least. I get this nice view, gorgeous sunset, up over the ocean. And some exercise. This is why you just never know what else solo traveler you're just like look it would be great if I had somebody with me but you're not always gonna get that so in instances like this just make the best you can out of the situation keep it moving and enjoy nature walking 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 down a lonely road oh, man. so oh, man. We'll get there at some point, and then something definitely get something to drink, get something to eat, and figure out who's gonna come get that car, that little trap that it's in, and get me back on the road, or at least get me back to where I'm staying. That's the main thing. All right, look a little more. At least I could check off hiking. Well, I didn't even plan to do that. It's just supposed to be beaches and different sites. So, definitely picking that off the road. I mean, off the board. Look at that fucking cotton mouth like a motherfucker. So, let's see. Let me look at my handy dandy phone with. And then your phone about 0.4 miles. Almost there. You getting there. Jesus, I wish they fixed these roads. These roads are fucking insane. I wish someone would have told me to take a need a 4x4. I would have hitched a ride or something. Or I would have parked lower down and walked up if I knew this was gonna happen. Oh well, I'll see you when we get there. Oh, I made it. That's all that counts. <laughs> Get some great stories and video. Were you doing the whole trek down here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to go I'm going to be the first comment on there. Yeah, you're going to see the car. you like, <laughs> And I'm like, hey, you know what? To make the make the word, you know, the best out of the situation, I see a sunset while walking up a cliff. So. And I'm like, and he didn't do this on purpose. It was probably my fault. <laughs> So when you're in Anguilla, get directions, don't use Waze or Google. <laughs> Especially when you go into places up in the mountain area. <laughs> I can't get enough of you. Some grouper over at Lime Kill. There we go. Got some grouper over here at Lime Kill, live music. A little hidden gem up here on the hill. Bless him. Real Hold up. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Oh. Good time, good. 
that's up. Well, it's only one wheel's probably going to spin. Right. We'll get this somehow. We got it out. We got it out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, sexy woman, sexy woman, old Milwaukee best. Got the car out the ditch. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> you want to totally we get out? Oh yeah. I wish it would be over now, but I know I still need you there. Cause you say I'm crazy. getting picked up from the people I rented the car from along with the guy that I met from Philly on the beach with him and his family and he came with us to help us get the car out holy shit <laughs> so back home safe for now I'm just gonna leave this camera home take the phone with me possibly may go out so if I go out there'll be more footage if I don't go out there's not going to be more footage. We'll see what happens. Just kind of seeing what I'm going to get myself into tonight. So, so far, crazy. See what else I'm going to get myself into. Hey, everybody. I'm home. Guess what? <coughs> oh, excuse, me, excuse me, I'm a little, a little hoarse. So they locked me out, dude. It's like the front door is supposed to be always open. And I just locked my my door. But that was not the case tonight. Like, I went out, had some drinks with some friends that I met down here. I come back, the front door was locked. So at that point in time, I didn't ha have this this camera. So I was like... How am I gonna get in this place? So, I do what anybody would do, case the house. Sorry, did I say case the house? Yeah, that sounds kind of like really uh, illegal and uh, probably shouldn't do that. But, I am not sleeping in the goddamn car. So I walked around, walked around, I found the window. And let's just say, you know how to open the window and put the window pane back. And here we are, me in my room, on my bed. So, day two, down. We have one more day here in Aguila, and then we're going to Seba. And then we are spending the rest of the time in St. Martin, or St. Martin, depending you know, Dutch and French. So everybody, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching my videos. What's up everybody? Day number three. Uh, it took a while for me to get out of bed, a little hungover from uh, last night's festivities of that whole car situation, me hiking up in the hill, 
and then eating, having a few drinks with my friends from Philly. So uh, when you see this, shout out to Philly, shout out to Bob. Um, thanks for the help. Again, awesome. This is what it's all about, meeting great people along your travels. Uh, may, might see them again tonight. Gonna go to eat at this Italian pizzeria, Neapolitan, gelatos, all that good stuff. So that's later on tonight. Today it's like afternoon time. Um, yeah, let's see what to do today. Uh, there's like this heritage thing down in the, the Capitol Valley. That's where, where I'm staying a few miles from here. So I'm gonna see what's going on down there. And then there's the cavern thing I was talking about that I'm gonna go see if that's open. Uh, check that out. Other than that, it's just pretty much gonna lounge a little bit. And then tomorrow we are taking the ferry back to St. Martin where I will be hopping on a small little island hopper plane, uh, the Winair, only airline that flies to Sepa, a small landing strip in a commercial airport in the world. Uh, just think of landing on a Navy uh, ship. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, if you don't land right, you are falling off the rock of the island, which uh, Sable was made out of a volcano, so that should be pretty cool. So, I'm gonna do two days there, and then onward to uh, St. Martin, where I'll be staying, hanging with friends, and doing that for a few days. So, yeah, so until later, let's see what's gonna go on uh, downtown, and yeah, let's see what's gonna, see what's, uh, gonna go on for today. Peace. So, uh, yeah, we are in the city area. I know the lighting's not that great. Bear with me, folks. Uh, we are in the downtown city area, um, trying to find this heritage spot. Uh, this is the Valley, which is the capital of Anguilla. So, it is a Monday. So, you see there's traffic on the road with only a few uh, major roads here. You know, if there's an accident, you're pretty much screwed. But yeah, we're almost to the destination and then we'll kind of walk around and just see the cool stuff around here. Well, like business is the stuff. Shout out, shout out to Kim. Look at that. In Will a Lottery. Hit it big. I say that because she loves her scratch offs and she loves the lottery, so. So, doing my own little tour. Uh, we are over here in the background. This is called the Wall Blake House. So, reading up on that, it's uh, one of the main attractions when you do the uh, Heritage Trail. It's a uh, plantation home built in 1786. Uh, nice little stonework over here. And you have the warden's place. It's a former cottage. Um, I'm sorry. It's a former cotton and sugar plantation house. It was built by slaves in the 1790s. Uh, restored structure now houses a restaurant called Cool Keel and a 200-old year rock oven. It's still used to prepare for food. So that's pretty cool. Uh, then it's uh, a couple other fun facts. For many years, the cotton grown in Anguilla was imported to England. Yeah, it's crazy. So yep, we're at the uh, Will Blake house and it's uh, built in 1787 by a sugar planter, Will Blake. Uh, he's, Will, Will Blake is probably a corruption of his name. It's only a small number of plantation houses in the Caribbean where the entire complex of the buildings, including the stable, slave quarters, and kitchen have survived almost intact. And still here, even with the crazy hurricane, Irma, what they came through. So uh, I'm gonna get some photos. Oh, some video of this. I love the trade winds, man. With it being hot down here, it's not like Florida where you sweat your balls off. You actually got some good wind. Keep it cool. We got over here some church buildings. Big church right here.
All right, onward to the next destination. And over here, we have a small little airport. You get some island planes that come in here. Nothing major, most people come over here, they fly in the St. Martin and then they take the uh, crazy ferry over here. So, but no, that's their little airport in, in Willa. AXA, baby. Got a little football soccer stadium right over here. See, you got the stands up there. Oh, and that little thing singing in the background, that's my Waze. My Waze app getting me around. Uh, yeah, funny thing is when I picked up uh, one of the guys off the side of the road, it keeps on like singing because I put boy band for the uh, tone, which is hilarious. And he started singing with it. Uh, I wish I could have gotten that on camera, but you know, I'm not just gonna point cameras at local people, but that was pretty awesome. He was getting a kick out of it, like he never heard it before. So, um, yeah, so we just kind of drove a little bit through down the downtown area, which is not huge at all. Saw the uh, Wall Blake House um, and that little structures of the churches and everything over there. Now we are going to um, Fountain Cavern National Park, which is supposed to be a uh, little cave with stalagmites and all that other fun stuff. So uh, we'll see if that is open and running and if I can get into there. If so, that will be the video to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Just hanging around, gotta love it. With little goatesses. So I think I'm somewhere around here. This little hut thing. This is, oh, yeah, talking about the uh, home of the, don't even know how to say that, but it's a giant rat. Guidance. It looks like I'm doing a little nature trail walk. Yeah, it looks like that's the way. I found it. I found it. Get you a little little history facts and all this fun stuff around there so you know you can pause the video and read the stuff you know I'm always interested in learning new things so yeah man it's cool nice little I don't think it should be too long of a hike hopefully not it's one little trail so and we're on a flat island so eventually get down to the cave area. Ooh, some cacti. Little cactus over there. Alright. There's two ways. I see a sign. I'm going the way with the sign. And that's all it was, was just a sign. So we're going back the other way. <laughs> Ooh, nice little sunny day, nice breeze. Get my tan on. You know, we're going to caves and fossils, so I got my Kuna Matata. Kuna Matata going on. All right, looks like I have to cut through this way. I wonder if this thing is still open. Well, we'll find out. We will find out. Got some more kakatai. And then looking up this way, oh my god, look at that view. And of course, we gotta get me in the background. Oh shit. So, unfortunately, 
it's not open. I started walking through the trail and there was no clear path. I mean, you need a machete to chop through the things. So I walked back to the road, uh, asked the guy in the car, I was like, hey man, is cavern this way? He's like, yes sir, uh, but it's not open. So uh, I guess, yeah, because when you saw when I walked in that little hut and everything, it's not even done up and the trail is like horrible and you they need to uh, pretty much landscape that area and make a, make a nice little trekking way. So yeah, he said there's they're working on it. Obviously, damage with the hurricane and then like all the growth from the plants. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do a cavern today. So I'm hungry. It's like around that lunchtime. So I'm just going to go get some uh, get some food by the beach since I'm over in this area anyway. I'm, this is in the Shoal Bay area, and uh, yeah, I'm going to eat and try to go back, upload some videos, relax, and then go out to dinner later. All right. Well, sorry today wasn't too crazy but you know stuff happens just like uh, last night the car gets stuck you know this happens you kind of just go with the flow it's the caribbean man caribbean time chill relax made it down to the restaurant time to get some food <laughs> So got the codfish fritters coming. Also got me uh, some mahi mahi. And then this hair of the dog pina colata with the little nutmeg sprinkled on top there. Cheers. Oh, so refreshing. Cod fritters, Creole sauce. Oh my god, so good. No like fried food after a night of drinking. Mahi Mahi Tartar French fries. And a Daiku. So, did not end up going into any restaurant tonight. Just kind of vegging out. I am so beat from yesterday. I'm telling you, when you get older, the body doesn't work the same way as it used to. So, just went to the grocery shop, got some drinks, replenishing electrolytes. Um, got a nice little shack on the road. Got me a a Johnny cake, which is like a fried dough. Super good. Fried chicken wings. And a big drumstick. So this shall be my food for tonight. I'm just gonna relax, upload videos, and then tomorrow we'll ferry to St. Martin where we'll hop on the winner to Seba. So See you tomorrow on Saber. Bye. I wish it would be over now, but I know I still need you there. Cause you say I'm crazy. You don't think I know what you've done.